how to create an email list on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a uh, list of subscribers or uh, let's say here, uh, gather subscribers onto your website or your store of Shopify with just two apps and start sending the email. So we are going to head over shopify.com, sign in for an account, and then you are going to see the admin dashboard as you can see like this. Now, what are we going to do is basically to click on the search bar and type in the name for the first app that we are going to um, uh, create or not create, basically we are going to install, which is going to be email or Shopify email. We're going to get this specific logo. We are going to get the option of MailChimp and email. So we are going to choose the integration or the organic integration of the Shopify. We are going to install this specific app and then we are going to set up the thing. So we have started by installing the email app because we are going to create some campaigns later and also some automation. And then we are going to have here the campaigns added. But here we are going to start from the beginning. Why we are going to start from that? Because any email campaign needs contacts or subscribers. So without those or the recipients, you can name that. Also, uh, without these recipients, you're not going to be um, okay with sending this email to zero or zero subscribers. So we are going to get the idea from uh, the email suggestions for the getting started back. So you are going to click on grow on your audience with the shop by form. So we are going to install our shop by first form. So here, this is going to be also an app. So you're going to see in here, we're going to pin it into navigation. And so we are going to create a form. So basically we are going to create a pop-up form. We have um, multiple uh, forms that we can create. We are going to create a pop-up form or an inline form. I'm going to use here the pop-up form because I would like to do that. So we are going to put a name for it. For example, uh, let's say here, newsletter sub, for example, subs. We are going to click on create. And then we are going to see it either floating or the overlay. So I'm going to put it as overlay, for example. And this is going to be the uh, preview of it. So you can go ahead and uh, select the uh, overlay color. As you can see, this is going to be 60% gray. So we can go ahead and put it as 40 or 50%. I think this is better. So we are going to see here the teaser show if the customers close the uh, form without subscribing or not. I'm going to put it first and let it as it is. As you can see, don't miss out or you can go ahead and before the form, use that or put, for example, never. We're going to set up the teaser. So when they are going to have the teaser, as you can see, don't miss out. This is the text of the teaser when they are going to click they are going to sign up. So the position on the uh, store, for example, here, we are going to put it on the right. So we're going to have it just like that. Uh, now don't miss out. We are going to let this specific uh, surprise message uh, set up. Now the form, which is going to be this, we are going to have here sign up or for example, we are going to put sign up or more for example or let's say here for exclusive or sign up i'm going to put it as just sign up like that i am going to let it as it is the content for example complete the form to sign up so we are going to have here the complete to sign up we are going to put here um to get for example exclusive content or let's say here a uh, deals maybe something like that is going to be uh, let's say um here attracting now we have the fields as you can see we have the first name field the email field you can also add some fields like last name phone birthday or a custom field as you can see here like radio buttons multi-line text and etc and after that you're going to see here the consent disclaimer message. 
So we are going to put it like this and then you're going to have the success as you can see uh, message. After that, you can go ahead and create a discount, which is going to be a very, uh, very creative and also great marketing, uh, let's say here, um, purpose for the sign up because uh, who else doesn't like a discount after they have um, set up the name and also their email to subscribe to your campaign. Maybe some of them will see them a pain in the, uh, let's say in the brain or in the head. Or some of them are going to be uh, like liking uh, to be rewarded with a discount. For example, you can go ahead and create a discount, and then you are going to select it. The success. So, for example, here message title and also the, uh, the uh, background. You can go ahead and modify the fields. Like here, we have tons and tons of things that you can modify in this specific. As you can see here, a tiny little box. So we are going to click on save. And here we are going to uh, install. We are going to install the form into our store, of course, and we are going to set up the thing. So, since it is going to be a pop-up, we're going to have it in here. So we are going to wait for it to pop up like this, and here we have it. So when you are going, to, they are going to submit. They are going to have here everything set up. So this is the thing we have activated it as you can see and each one of the emails or the sign up you're going to see them in the submissions so you're going to click on view submissions and you're going to see the emails now how we can collect the submissions or see them basically we have installed the email you're going to have here a direct connection between the forms and the emails so you're going to create your own campaign set up the campaign and also you're going to set up at the end the campaign goal or the campaign let's say objective so you can go ahead and select this for example event list and then we're going to have here all subscribers so the submissions are going to be the subscribers so you are going to see them here shopify email is going to be automatically filters out subscribers that are going to be uh, bouncing here on the pass and etc. You can go ahead and put manually, for example, those by creating the contacts, or you can go ahead and have them right there by the app of the uh, specific uh, Shopify form that we have added. And when you finish, you can go ahead and review the things, and you're going basically to send them out. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you soon on the next one.